Good morning, YouTube. Welcome to Dude RV. Hey, I sure appreciate you stopping by. I've been wandering around this great state of Texas, exploring places where you can take your RV or motor home. And today, I find myself wandering around McCown Valley Park, Whitney Lake. So let's go see McCown Valley Park. And today, I find myself wandering around McCown Valley Park, Whitney Lake. This is a U.S. Army Corps of Engineers campground. And I've been coming here since I was a, a, a wee little one. You're going to like this part. I've got the GoPro with the Max Lens Mod, the GoPro Hero 9 with the Max Lens Mod. I got a little red, the high speed mobility scooter. Best of all, I've got you. So let's get on the scooter and hit the road and go see McCown Valley Park, Whitney Lake. Cue the music. Whitney Lake is on the Brazos River. It, the level water level varies quite a bit depending on the season and the amount of rain. Right now the lake is is very high. It's just it's not very high. It's just over pool because of all the rain that we've had. Currently the gate is unmanned and all of your reservations have to be made online. So there's three parts to the park, actually four. We're going to start with the day use area, cabins, and boat ramp. Then we'll move over to the equestrian areas and more day use. And then we'll finish up with the RV loops. There's quite a bit of wildlife in this park. Squirrels galore. I have seen a number of deer. And oh, by the way, it is May 12th, 2021, Tuesday. Unseasonably cool. <coughs> the highs should be in the 80s, but right now they are only in the low 60s. So we have screen cabins for your pleasure. Hold on. Pause in production. That's an that's a interruption, an unpleasant interruption. Spam. I hate phone spam more than I do email spam. And so here on your cabin loop, there are showers and restrooms. We have a few primitive sites, but they're really awesome because they're right here on the water. And because the lake is high, I mean, they are on the water. Those are for tent camping only. Well, Whitney Lake is renowned, well known for striper fishing. A little switch back to get up this hill and we'll just scoot down and look at the boat ramp. And it looked like somebody was cleaning some fish back there. It's 
a very, just a really deep lake. And normally a very clear lake. A lot of scuba divers come down here to the to the dam side to the end of the lake where the dam is. Okay, so there's your boot ramp. It's a two-laner. Scuba divers come down here when the when the lake when the water's clear. There's a few ducks. We got ducks. They're looking for a free meal. I don't know what the cost of the cabin rental is, but I do know that you can get a water electric RV site for $10 a night, $9 a night with a pass, with your, your national parks pass, or your handicap access pass. There are no, are no full connection sites in the park. Group shelter for your party pleasure. If you want to have a party on the patio and you need a big patio, well, there you go. And it has a commanding view. Currently closed for COVID-19. Little bit of roughness there. I don't know if it's closed for COVID-19 or if it's just coned off because there's no one reserving it. Now we're gonna scoot on over to the equestrian area. Quite an extensive equestrian area. Uh oh. Breaking the law. Breaking the law. The stop signs are red, so little red scooters are not required to stop. Alright, there is a cattle guard here. A little bit of roughness. Woohoo, that was rough. So if you're into the equestrian camping and riding riding your horses on trails, they seem to have a pretty nice setup here. So this would be your group equestrian site with stables, power, and water. And then right here in this field, this pasture, that's the day use parking. As I am not an equestrian camper, I have often wondered why is it that most of your equestrian camping areas have no pavement, gravel roads. Ah, ooh, that was rough. It's all gravel seems to be all they all, they all seem to be gravel for the most part. A couple locations I've seen have paved roads and pads for the RVs or the trailers, but for the most part, they're all gravel. Can, can someone post in the comments down below and tell me why that is? Is it, does it have something to do with the horse's hooves? I don't know. And 
coming up here on the left is the camping equestrian camping loop number two and it is also a gravel road There are a number of pull-through sites. And most of these are water electric. There are two corrals located at either end of the loop. And it seems, now when I came through here earlier, there were four four sites that were occupied but they were not occupied by horse horse trailers I did not see any horses there's some pretty sights right there back up in the trees I like this gentleman he's out here all oh, my hair's lonesome because the other campers have departed oh, I take that back the tent camper is still here This weather makes it hard to believe that it is May. I know a lot of y'all that watch are from cooler climates. But man, it was, it was almost 90 degrees here two days ago, three days ago. Now it's cold. I had to put my pants on for crying out loud. This is a pretty little drive. about two inches of rain yesterday. It's not any fun fishing in the rain. All right, here we are. The primary day use area. This area is typically closed off when the, there's a lot of rain because it does tend to flood. As you can see, there's water on both sides. There's also the beach swimming area. into the wind now. Man, that's chilly, chilly. Left 
fishing rod out. And here on the right, you'll see one of the, the most epic play structures. Oh heck, we'll just, we'll just ride up there and take a look at it. One of the most epic playground structures I've seen in any Corps of Engineer campground. Heck, any state park for that matter. Look at that castle. Now, for whatever reason, they've, they've closed off the road through here. That's all right, we may do. This is a tent camping loop. And now we're coming up on the RV loops. are mostly 30 and water. A couple of pull throughs, but they're gravel. Be mindful of that. This is one of the most unique sites in the, the RV loop right there. I'm not sure how you're supposed to, I guess a small RV, I don't know. Okay, so we're gonna go up to the bathroom, and the restroom, and we're gonna do that RV loop and then we'll come back to this RV loop. Oh wait, what's down here? Two sites. Dead in roof. Another big play structure. That one's actually shaded. A big solar shade on it. There's your shower facility. This is a pretty little camping loop down in here in these trees. But a lot of these sites, not all of them, be very difficult to get level and they're they're really rough. But it is pretty down in these trees and during the summer be nice and shady. This is the loop where you'll find the majority of your big rig friendly pull throughs. Ooh, that's a steep little hill there. Very deceptive looking. You're not gonna have internet access, cellular access over here, at least not on the Verizon network. I don't know about AT&T, but I know Verizon does not work over here. And it, all, and it works, the, the camping sites down by the lake, here on the map, I'll show you, right here. These sites, they actually have pretty good really good cell connection 
and now we're back on the main road so and headed to the last loop and this loop half of it has good cellular service the other half does not so this so on this end of the, this loop this rv loop these are all 30 and water sites in here and here on this side you have you have good internet or cellular connection do about the about site number seven i think it is so right right in here it starts to get real spotty and then by the time you get to this it's dead and i know that because this is where we're set up And those, those are always so much fun. Hey, if you're still with me at this point, thank you. I am I'm very deeply honored. If this is your first visit to Dude RV, I'd appreciate you considering clicking on that subscribe button down below. I post new content every Sunday morning, 10 a.m. You don't want to miss another episode of the Dude RV Traveling Roadshow. For those of you who have been following along, by golly, I sure appreciate that. Thank you very much. And for my patrons, you guys rock. Y'all come back now, you hear?